volatility is plummeting. Is this normal? What's going on? And what to expect in the future? The VIX is hitting uh, beyond a one-year low. It continues to move lower and lower. And this is affecting options prices across the board. For those of you who follow me, I live and breathe options. On the one hand, it's been nice to be able to buy intraday options on things like SPY ETF at incredibly low prices. On the other hand, there's no price movement. So while these options are inexpensive, you're not really going to make a profit because the market isn't really moving. Let's take a look at the VIX. I trade UVXY. It is trading at $2.31. I'm still holding $3.50 calls expiring this Friday. I'm not losing money. I'm just not nearly as profitable as I want, and I'm probably just going to break even on this. I'll explain everything. Let's jump into the computer. Here's a quick chart on the VIX itself, volatility index, aka the fear index. And as you can see, we've not only been plumbing the uh, one-year lows, we're way below that, and it does not look like the VIX wants to pop up. Let's put this into perspective, though. This is just uh, going back uh, a little over a year, I suppose. Um, here is a longer term chart going all the way back to 2017. This is the weekly bar chart on the VIX, the actual VIX. And as you can see, we're hitting some normal levels, pre-pandemic levels. After the pandemic, of course, uh, the Federal Reserve created all sorts of chaos with their ultra liquid situation. Now they're unwinding that. And that's a key thing. We're not out of the woods with what the Federal Reserve is doing. They're just beginning the phase of unraveling everything that they've been doing over the past couple years. So the fact that we're hitting these kinds of lows, it may just be a lull for now, but we're anywhere near a normal economic environment. I fully expect that we will see some kind of price movement in the stock market as what the Federal Reserve is doing contracts the economy and we start seeing profits and things like this show up that are not nearly as rosy as can be. Given that, one of the weapons of choice I've been uh, trading is UVXY. This is um, going back a little over a year and as you can see it's been following the VIX itself lower. It's not a pure one-for-one -one ratio. I'm not exactly certain the mathematics behind UVXY ETF versus the VIX. Um, it is UVXY ETF is moving lower, but when you compare it to the VIX itself, like I said, not a one-for-one -one ratio move. Uh, there's mathematics and hedging going on involved there, and it is different. But, and as I mentioned before, the Federal Reserve is reversing everything they did. So we had that initial shock from um, COVID. All right. The world economy shut down. Everybody thought that the world economies were done. And we saw the VIX shoot up to about 85. And I don't believe I've ever seen the VIX higher than that. If you look at the month monthly chart on that, it may be that that is the absolute high. And I believe 100 is the absolute max you can go i believe i could be wrong on that one we hit 85 during the uh covid initial covid and um really don't need to see that number hit again um from there the federal reserve is removing all of its policy accommodation they've been moving up interest rates we're merely waiting for a lot of the effects of this to happen in the economy a recent Federal Reserve governor just stepped away, stepped down, so now I can speak freely, was basically saying with the regional bank crisis, we're now in phase three with the expectation that there's going to be a tremendous amount of drain out of these regional banks. That money's going to go toward the bigger banks. This is bad news for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons is big banks will deal with big companies, lending out a billion at a time, 10 billion at a time, whatever is necessary. 
But what about these smaller regional companies that may only need, say, 10 million, 50 million? To your bigger banks, no one's really going to pay much attention to that simply because it's not cost effective for them. Regional banks handle regional businesses. It's kind of a nice relationship. But if you liquidate, and what I'm reading is up to 50% of the deposits within these regional banks, that's the regional bank's ability to lend to regional businesses. Expectations are that we will see more bank closures. Can't be good for the economy overall. Simultaneously, you've got the Federal Reserve removing uh they're no longer doing their uh rolling over their debt that they've been acquiring over the past couple of years the negative effects of that is simply this we're going to see higher interest rates as prices move lower for uh investors to be enticed to buy that debt simultaneously we also have um some uh, backlog in debt from the federal government, which now they're able to issue that debt because the debt ceiling has been raised. So from an interest rate standpoint, we're going to continue to see higher interest rates. Next Wednesday, I believe we do see CPI data uh, should be higher, should be slightly higher than expected. And that could really affect um, what happens with interest rates. On the same day, the Federal Reserve is meeting. So it should be an interesting day right there. Long term, my thesis has always been the same, that I've looked at the summertime as being kind of the peak of the stock market, then going all through the fall, September, October, November, December, my expectations are that we see the stock market start to stumble significantly. There are far too many headwinds for the economy, which will create shrinking revenue and profits for stocks. And that is going to go ahead and rattle that stock market. So while we have been seeing prices trend lower, lower, lower in these options, uh, UVXY ETF, I think this is short-lived. Timing is interesting because as an options trader, time, theta, is always kind of an enemy especially if I'm short options. Um, given that, what I'm looking for is, I'm actually pricing out $2.50 calls for roughly the end of uh, July. And I'm seeing some prices mid-June to mid-July, right around $0.15, cents, $0.20 cents for the two fifty dollars calls. And I'm very tempted. May not pull the trigger tomorrow or today, but I am certainly interested and may pull the trigger very soon. I am looking for some kind of catalyst event, some headline that catches everybody off guard and all of a sudden the stock market snaps to reality that although it's been trickling up, that wasn't appropriate, that there's a lot more downside. And from that, UVXY ETF will be heading back up. It's just a matter of when, not if. I'll keep you posted. I try to put out an, uh, on UVX, UVXY ETF. I try to put out a, a video about once a week. I live and breathe with the VIX because I am an options trader. I'll keep you posted. See you in the next video.